New Year, New City. New Haven is going on a diet. The city, along with health officials and Yale University, are pushing New Haven residents to lose 375,000 pounds collectively. With more details on just how they plan to do that, Keith Kuntz is here. Keith? Ann and Darren, getting more people in the Elm City living a healthier lifestyle is one of New Mayor Tony Harp's first 100 days initiatives. And in this case, she is trying to lead by example. It is an issue many of us battle, keeping off those unwanted pounds. I struggle with it like so many people do. Which is one reason why Mayor Harp wants everyone in the city, all 130,000 men, women, boys and girls, to take part in the Get Healthy Connecticut Weight Loss Challenge. Among the intended results, reducing the number of cases of preventable diseases like diabetes. We need to have supports in our community that actually get us thinking about what is a healthy meal, how do we lose weight, and how do we gain control of our bodies so that we don't actually have to have diseases that are preventable. In addition to getting more exercise, the program also promotes healthier eating, getting folks to choose things like fruits, vegetables, and yogurts instead of soft drinks and cookies. This is the third year Ganelle Roberts is taking part in the challenge. Well, I've been doing it. This is my third year, and it's a motivation. It gets us going. It makes you want to do better each year. Although that city goal of collectively shedding 375,000 pounds sounds daunting, it's a bit easier to swallow when you consider that's only about three pounds per person. I work for the city. We have a bunch of sites all over the city that have physical activity and have open gyms for kids and adults. Mm -hmm. And we just want to make people aware that those things are available. Need to get out there and get moving. If you'd like more information about taking part in the Weight Loss Challenge, you should check out the Parks and Recreation section of the City of New Haven website. Live from the New Haven Newsroom, Keith Koontz, News 8.